Hello guys, once again, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how a trailing arm bushing can be replaced. The first thing I did was to remove the inner fender splash shield to have a better access to the bolts that held the trailing arm in place. If you do not have the tool to remove the plastic retainer clips, you can also use a screwdriver or a pry bar. And it was also necessary to remove the brake hoses that were clipped on the trailing arm. Because of the narrow space, I decided to go with an impact wrench and knock it out quickly. The trailing arm is connected by two bolts that pass through the bushing and the other end is connected by three bolts going to the knuckle. And with everything unbolted from the trailing arm, it was necessary to access the drum brake to disconnect the parking brake cable from its bracket. The parking brake cable has a safety metallic clip that you can easily compress with a zip tie or a metal clamp. And now just find an elevated surface and hammer the bushing out. Spraying some liquid wrench and letting it sit for at least 60 minutes really helps take that bushing out. And with the old bushing out, you can grab a scotch pad and smooth out the surface of the control arm ring so that way the new bushing can slide much easier. Now the best way to replace bushings is to do it with a hydraulic press, but it doesn't mean that it can be done using a hammer.
The most difficult thing to do is removing the trailing arm because of the parking brake cable, but I would advise you to grab the drum brake toolkit if you're not experienced working with drum brakes because the springs hold a lot of tension. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.